Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video we'll be working with our Live Forms 4 and in particular we'll be looking at how to calculate fields. So let's get started. Uh, I have an instance of Live Forms here so I'm just going to go to Manage and to save time instead of building a form I'm going to go to our Live Forms gallery and uh, grab this checkout uh, template. I'm just going to hit copy template and go back here to sharing and paste it here so this will set up the form for us uh, there we go I'm gonna save and return and let's take a look at how this one works so uh, as you can see the total amount here is about $500 uh, and if I change this to iPhone success it changes to 600 and if I change this to 7 it becomes 700 um, and if I select some of these options it adds on as well as you can see it moved to 830 I can add one more and now it's $980. I can do gift wrap and now it's $1,000. So it's computing based on uh, drop downs, checkbox list, and radio buttons. Let's see how that's being done. So I'm going to go back to manage and let's look at some, uh, let's look at the drop down first. We have here uh, three different options iPhone 6, 6S, and 7. And we've specified a value. Uh, this is the dollar amount for each one of them. So we can specify a uh, value that's different from the text by using the pipe. Uh, as it says here, use the syntax if you want to specify a different text and value. So that's easy. Um, same thing here uh, in checkbox list. We've basically said that it's $50 for the tracker, $80 for the earphones, and $150 for the AirPods. And then for gift wrap, again, same thing, uh, $20 if they want it gift wrapped and zero if they don't. So this is easy to set up, as you can see. We also have um, this unique token here called currency, which is just where the dollar amount was showing up. And we also have a field here uh, called currency. Now, two new fields came in LifeOms for credit card and currency. And this is actually a currency field here. Uh, so let's see how this is set up. The magic actually happens in actions. What we have is uh, on form view, we have an action right here, uh, the first one, which we've called calculate, and you can name it whatever you like. Uh, you can always change the name to whatever you like. But all we're doing is we're saying that the field name currency, uh, which is which is this field right here, uh, we're going to automatically update that and that is nothing but sum of products which is this right here so if i do products value this is a token so i just took that and gift wrap which is the radio button and accessories so let's let's see this you would simply say i want the products value plus the accessories value plus the gift wrap value and that's it by just doing that we've built up our action so what's going to happen is every time uh, someone changes those values this currency field would get updated but we're actually showing the dollar amount outside in a token so let's see how that works well you can use any token you like in my case i called it currency which allows you to use this token here uh, anywhere in your HTML, even outside the live forms, if you like. So, for example, if I called it um, total, this this token would have become total, and I can simply use that. But I'll just leave it currency as it is, and I'll show you how how's that working. So let's go ahead and update this and get out of this. Now, currency field, I have hidden it, so it's it's not visible outside on the form, but for this demo, I'm going to unhide it so you can see exactly how that's working too. And this right here is nothing but an HTML field. So I have a text editor here. Um, and as you can see, all we're doing is using a token here called currency. And by using that token, uh, it works great. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this bold, kind of increase the font a little bit so uh, it's, it's bigger. Let's save this. Go back and take a look. As you can see the currency field shows $500, token is also updated and as soon as I change something it gets updated automatically. 
So this is it for this short demo. Uh, ultimately, you want to have a currency field as well, so you can hook this up with an action such as uh, PayPal, Authorize.net, or CyberSource, or any of our Lifeforms extension, which you can use this to actually process the, the payment. But uh, it is very easy to compute these uh, tokens. So let me show you that you can actually run any JavaScript you like. For example, if I go back to our, our action really quick, right here and uh, say I want to show a um, decimal amount of this and the token so I can very quickly see, do this and I can say I want only two decimals so again that's just JavaScript so you can add any JavaScript you like and uh, I'm gonna say uh, I just want the token updated not the currency for this so I'm gonna go ahead and update that um, and close out of this let's hide this again and let's go back now as you can see now there is the dot uh, zero zero coming as well instead of just five hundred dollars so you can use any javascript as you like and it's really that simple to set up your forms there are templates that are already available on our site for uh, checkouts and buy now and donations so feel free to use that or build your own custom form if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to open a support ticket. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video.